death-defying tightwire act, Gaspar the Great. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Vinyl Community. Dave the Pickup Artist with you for another Psychedelic Sunday. I hope everybody had a good week. Let's get right to the records. We got us a big barbecue to start things off tonight. The first one I've got is the fourth album from the Rotary Connection, 1969. This band was out of Chicago, Illinois. Uh, now this album is all covers. And what's cool about it is there are uh, three of them are cream covers. Now, like I said, this band is from Chicago, and they operated out of Chicago. This was this being their fourth album. They recorded it at uh, uh, Terra Mar Studios in Chicago, which was a popular studio in the Midwest. And we've got uh, side one. We've got a cover of Respect. They do The Weight, uh, Sunshine of Your Love. I've got my mojo working, which is my favorite song on here. Then we've got, at the end of side one, we've got Burning of the Midnight Lamp by Jimmy. Uh, side two, we got another great cover, Tales of Brave Ulysses. Then we've got a uh, song that was written for the band by Stevie Wonder. It's the first song that Stevie ever wrote for a musician that wasn't in Motown. Then we've got uh, We're Going Wrong, another Cream song, and they uh, polish it off with The Salt of the Earth, a Stone song. And most of these songs don't sound anything like the originals. Is that how it happened, really? And that's where it's at. And that's how the whole thing was decided upon. Really, like, you know what this is? That's that album. Would you hold that and show them? Take a nice, nice shot of Minnie and the Ablum, and it is called Rotary Connection Songs, and I assume that there are songs. A lot of songs on it. Like... Like, um, Burning right Lamp, yeah. Respect, um, Sunshine of Your Love. There is one that is going to become a new single, the right? The Wait. This Town. Uh, kind of a mystery here. Up, up at top, it says, Recorded in Concept 12 Stereo. Whatever. I don't know what that's all about. And we do have a little bit of water damage on here. A couple things about this band. Um, they were on the, uh, this is the inner sleeve, and they were on the Cadet Concept label, which was an offshoot or a spinoff of Chess Records. And the uh, then head of Chess Records, Marshall, Marshall Chess, wanted to revive Muddy Waters' career, so he hired members of this band to back Muddy up on his album Electric Mud and the one he did right after that. They wanted... Uh, to give Muddy a kind of a more psychedelic sound. So they hired, I don't think everybody in this band, but I think it was a guitar player and maybe the rhythm section. Um, and this is soulodelic. We've got a great uh, backup singer named Minnie Ripperton, of course, went on to uh, uh, have a successful solo career. Uh, yeah, that's good stuff. They did, I think they did about 
six albums and they called it quits in about, I think it was 74 they quit. This is a pretty good album. I'm looking for the first three albums. Very nice. Uh, next, I broke out some uh, Pocal Harem over the weekend. I've got the uh, U.S. version of the first album. This is the one with Wider Shade of Pale. If you get the uh, U.K. version of this, it doesn't have Wider Shade of Pale. Uh, we've also got Conquistador, another great song. Although I like the version of that live on their live album better than this uh, version. <laughs> debut by Procol Harem. The other one I was listening to, I think this was their third album, uh, Salty Dog. I love that cover. This has got another great operatic uh, ballad type song, the title track actually, The Salty Dog. <laughs> I was lucky enough to get to see uh, uh, this band about 12 years ago when they opened for Yes during their Fly From Here tour. I think it was about 12 years ago. I think at that point, Gary Brucker was the only original member in it. I could be wrong about that, but I don't think they had Rob. Yeah, Robin Trower wasn't at that show. But yeah, I'm looking for the other one, uh, Shine On Brightly, I'm looking for, and I'm looking for another album called Home, which I think was their fourth album. But yeah, very, very nice album. I love Procol Harem. And this is AM label. And this is interesting. They've got all the albums here, except for the first one, for some reason. Yeah. This is that great live album, too, if you can find that. You, can, you should be able to find that anywhere. That's a dollar bin album. Ten bucks to make it. Ten bucks to make it. Cost ten bucks to make it. The next record I have is Southwest FOB with the smell of incense. Houston band. Uh, first of all, check out the cover. We've got uh, four nude women held captive inside this uh, glass cage. I have no idea how the photographer got into Vinyl Richie's basement. Hello, everybody. Uh, this is on <laughs> uh, Beat Rocket Sundays. Oh, 
jailhouse lawyer. And yeah, this was formed by two people uh, that would later be known as England Dan and John Ford Conley, I think. And they had a bass player also. This is crazy stuff. Of course, they had a uh, hit with Smell of Incense, which they borrowed from the West Coast Pop Art Experimental Band. Stay the fuck out of my personal and, life. Uh, I don't need your judgment. It's a pretty good version. Yeah, this is a great album. Texas site. It didn't, didn't really go anywhere, though. And it's on... Weird green vinyl. Yeah, very cool. I stay the fuck out of my personal life. Simple as that. Next, hey, I've got a couple of San Francisco of legends. Life. I don't need your judgment. This first guy was a member of Jefferson Airplane, Jefferson Starship, and Hot Tuna. And you don't, you've never heard of this guy. I'm talking Papa John Creech and friends. But he just got to make those car payments now. Grunt. Yeah, Papa John was an electric violinist. They hired Papa John for their, I think their last two albums, and he played on those. He played on the first couple of uh, Jefferson Starship albums also, and uh, the, the, re the, I recently showed the, uh, Closing Days of the Fillmore movie, and he actually played with Jefferson Airplane and Hot Tuna on that show, I believe. And it's an all-star cast. We've got just about every member, yeah, every member of Jefferson Airplane is on here. We've got uh, John Cipollina from Quicksilver, Joey Covington, who would be in uh, Starship, Jefferson Starship, Yormaka Conan, and of course, Jerry Garcia is on here. And uh, if you like electric guitar or electric uh, violin, uh, check this guy out. I don't know how many albums he had, but uh, he's a great electric violin player. <laughs> probably heard him if you have all the uh, Jefferson Airplane albums, but uh, yeah, it's just a lot of fun. You can find this in the dollar bins, no problem. I I don't know if he's still alive or not. I don't think so. I think he was a little bit older than the other members, so um, I'm thinking he passed away. And the next one I have is one I always love putting on, the Charlotte. 
from San Francisco. <laughs> Now, this album, uh, it's only been reissued once a long time ago through the uh, EVA label, which is a European label. You can try to find a, an original copy, but they'll run you a lot of money. This is a 1968 San Francisco band, and they were, they were the best dressed San Francisco band there was. These guys sound a lot like uh, the Grateful Dead. In fact, I've got a picture of them with the Grateful Dead and other San Francisco bands near the uh, Golden Gate Bridge. But these guys included, when they first started out, they had uh, a Dan Hicks in the band. Uh, before they got signed to a record deal, Hicks had left and formed Hot Licks, and they put this album out. <laughs> Now, one of these guys was on the uh, last days of the Filmer movie. He's the guy that is uh, getting into it with uh, Bill Graham. I believe that's this guy. I could be wrong, but... Uh, I showed that film a, a couple of weeks ago, but yeah, this is a great album. There's not a bad track on here. This uh, particular, I think there's only two uh, versions of it, but this one has a commercial promo on it also. But yeah, the Charlatans. And that's all we, we've got uh, this week. I hope you all uh, have a great week, and I'll see you again. Oh, but Emmanuel is good boy.